I have a huge collection of forest products, paperwork, memorabilia, and there's no real good way to show it. So this is what I'm trying. What we have here is the How to Make Lumber, a guidebook of equipment and methods for profitable small production of lumber products. It was put out in 1935 by the Bellsaw Equipment Company. The Bellsaw Machinery Company is the root of a company that still exists today in Kansas City, Missouri and is known as Timber King Sawmills. Please stick around to the end as I make a discovery. Still making sawmills even after all these years since 1935. Dear friend, good news for you. A full 36 inch size saw free if you order your bell saw now. This offer sounds too good to be true, so I will explain why I am making it. I can't hold the old prices open any longer and I want to give you one last chance to take advantage of them before it is too late. If it is a matter of raising the money for a saw with your bell saw, this offer will solve your problem. I have never made such an offer on this before and I doubt very much that I can ever do it again. I went to our saw manufacturer with a proposition that I would give him a very large order provided he could give me a special low price on these extra saws I wanted for this offer. He agreed to do so on a certain limited number which makes it necessary for me to place a time limit on my offer. This is a good grade 36 inch spring set saw made by the same smiths who make our finest grades. It is correctly hammered, set, and sharpened. It is exactly the same saw we sell regularly at $17.50 and thousands like it are giving our customers perfect satisfaction. It is a much finer quality than any other low priced spring set saws on the market. Read the details of my offer carefully. If your order amounts to as much as $75, you will receive one of these saws absolutely free. For example, if you order a $49 Junior, add enough other equipment such as a pulley, feed, logging tools, saw set, files, or anything else to bring price up to $75, cash or time payment. If you order a model with which saw is regular equipment, deduct the value of the saw. For example, model 10818 is $180, including a $23.69 saw. Deducting the saw value reduces the price to only $156.31 and you get a saw free. This offer is not subject to any variations from the above provisions and order must reach us within 15 days from date of this letter. If it is not convenient to send order by the date limit, a small deposit on account will entitle you to receive this free saw provided you complete order with shipment by September 1st. Remember, the expiration date is May 1st. Hoping I shall receive your order or deposit by that date, I remain with best regards, very truly yours, E.S. Field, President, Bellsaw Machinery Company. I remember as a young man just out of high school that I was interested in sawmills. I had plans to go to Alaska, but uh, love got in the way. I wanted to have a sawmill. I had a 444 rifle, um, but it didn't turn out that way. I can remember as a young man seeing the Bellsaw Sawmill advertisements in magazines and just out of high school I actually ordered the literature that I would saw in the magazine and I have it here somewhere. I'll see if I can dig it up and maybe post a picture of it at the end of this video. Shortly after high school, in fact I was still 17, I fibbed about my age. The only time I ever lied to an employer was to get a job, but uh, I went to work in a large um, commercial mill, actually as a debarker operator, and within a week or two I saw that the guy up in that saw cab was, he had the job I wanted. Little did I know that what looked like an easy job was probably the hardest job in the mill. The literature from those times makes it look pretty easy, but what people don't understand is, is that a circle saw, it has a mind of its own. It can be a beast to try to get the saw right. 
until you get over that learning curve which lasts your entire life. Those old sawmills were quite a bit more dangerous than the modern band sawmills that we have today. I don't feel like I'm in danger when I'm sawing at my bandsaw. When you was around a head saw, you had to be uh, alert at all times. Even in a saw cab, you had to have your head on the swivel and know what was going on. Most of the times I got hurt though, I didn't get hurt by the mill. In fact, I never got hurt by the mill other than a vertical edger one time. I get hurt by people that wasn't paying attention to what they were doing. I guess that wouldn't be such a problem with the old one-man sawmills like the bell saws. You just had to keep lookout for yourself and the mill. Thinking about it as I'm narrating this video, I was wrong back earlier where I said that um, I'd never been hurt by the sawmill. That's incorrect. I recall um, having the end of a log, a sheared log, come unglued and the end getting thrown through the supposedly bulletproof glass that turned out to just be plexi and then finding me in the corner of the saw cab when they seen the hole punched in the glass. That was the sawmill's fault. I think about getting an old bell saw or an old circle mill and having it set up, but then I remember that's a lot of work. So it's been over 40 years since the information was ordered from bell saw and never did make it to Alaska. I never did get the bell saw sawmill. Although I still have the order form in the sales literature from 1979, the year I graduated, I do have a place in the UP, and I have a little manual bandsaw, an LT30 wood miser, and really, that's all I need. It's about as close as a guy can ask for to a dream. Okay, I gotta say, OMG, I had a good idea where this literature was, because I had seen it, but what I did not know was that was in there. I know exactly what that is. That is my house key for the house I grew up in, and that's a tag I had from Cub Scouts. Something. Huh. Well, I'll know where that's at next time.